<laughs> Welcome back. It's time for the entertainment news. Um, we'll start off with this one. I met the wrong person at the right time. Hmm. This is according to Mona Lisa Chinda. Nollywood actress Mona Lisa Chinda has spoken up about, um, once again, about a failed marriage to Deja Richard. She made this known in a recent interview with The Sun when she was asked if she sees her first marriage as a mistake. She said, and I'm quoting, no, I don't see it as a mistake. I was just young and naive. I met the wrong person at the right time. The person was wrong for me, so what I did was to dust the debt off my shoulder and move on. If you recall, in 2009, Mona Lisa Chinda and Deja Richards got separated after it was alleged she faced domestic violence and abuse in the marriage. They, are, they however, share a daughter named Tema together. So, mm. she has spoken again. Yes, she has always talked about um, a failed marriage. And I guess in this particular interview, they were just, they just needed to ask, like, do you think it was a mistake? And she just had all of this to say, saying it was a mistake, it was the wrong person. I yeah, and I think I like that yeah. because a lot of people don't tend to accept what it is. They'll just be like, yeah, it was, I made a mistake. I shouldn't have married him. He used to be in the... Uh, no. I, I like the fact that uh, this sounds like she's grown, she's learned. Mm -hmm. So it's like, look, at the end of the day, I was ready, but maybe it was just me meeting the wrong person. person. This person wasn't made for me. And I, she probably must have seen signs because those kind of things, you would see signs where you just be like, oh no, because I'm ready and I feel like this mm -hmm. way, mm -hmm. let's keep Bro. it moving and all of that stuff. But then you realize that, look, at the end of the day, this was just what it was, bottom line. And she didn't sound very hateful. She didn't sound like, look, I regret it or whatever it is. Because you, as you grow, you, I mean, you, you learn. need to learn. Yeah, so, I completely yeah. agree with you because I read the full interview um, on the newspapers and I saw that she said she was young and naive, but yeah. that, as you said, that she's happy that she experienced yeah, it, she that, has yeah. learned from it. She's like, maybe if he had asked her to marry him right now, she would have said no because no. she, she yeah. knows better. And I like the fact that she actually spoke about the realness of marriage not being uh, just the wedding. It's actually yeah. a real relationship between two people, two different people. And actually, she's also said, if you also make a mistake, don't kill yourself over yeah. it. You know, you can hurt, but learn from it and move on. Move I, thought, on. I thought that was a very mature angle I to go about yeah. it from. Uh, there was no hate, there was no shade to the ex. She didn't even bring him up. And, but I would, so, so I would like to say hey. that... <laughs> I would like to say that I, I wish journalists would stop asking such questions. Like, cause the follow up question was, um, but does your daughter want like a second, you know, a second child or Damn. a sibling? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's your privacy. Yeah, people's privacy. So yeah. sometimes when people answer rudely, we tend to think, oh, why are they telling us their business or why are they acting this way or why are they shading their exes? But it's almost like I'm just calling out, you know, fellow journalists like ourselves. Like, I don't it's, feel like that question was necessary. It's an interview. You want to know everything about yeah. Mona Lisa Chinda. So it's still part, it's part well, of her I life. Don't know. And I think it's a personal thing too. Yeah. Some people are comfortable. You can deny, you can say, I don't want some to. Some people are like, look, I don't want to talk about my. Yeah, personal you move on life. next. And you move on. You yeah. move on from That's it. But true. then some, some journalists will now take it personal and be like, oh, why is she ordering information? Why? Is, mm -hmm. Nah, That's don't. It, people tell you what they want you to know. And if they don't want you to know, don't try. Don't yeah. force also, it out yeah. of them. At the end of the day, they are human beings and they're entitled to their privacy as well. Sure. Yeah. All right, moving on to the next story African Magic Viewer Choice Awards AMVC 2020. Hmm. It was a night of glitz and glamour at the seventh edition of the MVCA was in full effect at the ECO Convention Center here in Lagos. Now, the award ceremony, which was hosted by Kenyan broadcaster Amina Abdul Raba and our very own Ike Osaki Odua witnessed big wins in the African movie industry. The biggest win of the night went to Charles Okpaleke's Living in Bondage, which won eight awards. Other big winners of the night include God Calling, which won Best Lighting Designer and the Best Makeup category, while sci-fi film Ratnik won Best Costume Designer and Best Art Director in a movie or TV series. Chibuna Funny Bone Stanley won the Best Actor in a Comedy, while Best Actress in a Comedy went to Funke Akindele for Moms at War. Best actor in a drama went to Timini Egbusin for Elevator, ba Ele Elevator Baby, while best actress in a drama went to Tony Abraham for the same film. Trailblazer Award went to Jude Kene, aka Swanky JK. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about this? Super well deserved for Swanky JK first. Yes, yeah. well, I, I absolutely agree yeah. with you. Well deserved for Swanky JK. Uh, super excited for Timini. I think Elevator Baby really pushed him, really um, pushed his limits as an actor, um, mm -hmm. actor rather, and as well as um, Tony Abraham. Um, I was not particularly pleased about King of Boys mm -hmm. not winning any, any award. award yeah. I felt like they deserved at least one award, but I don't know, maybe it was uh, 
that I don't know what happened right there. Um, what else happened? <laughs> I liked the <laughs> Kenyan presenter. I was asking OJ about yeah. that. Yeah. She's amazing. Mm. She killed it. She killed amazing. it. Um, matching Even the same IK. energy as IK or IK was kind of trending. He was like, ah, I'm their daddies. <laughs> 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 and we all agreed. We're like, take it. Take it. <laughs> can, 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 can we also talk about Timini Obuso, who um, won Best Actor and... That particular award was presented to him by uh, Dakore. So Dakore just got on stage to read the yeah. nominees and everything, and she opened the envelope. <laughs> How do I control my emotion? <laughs> and really, just, it was time for her to call the name. She just called the name, and she was just, just screaming scream. everywhere. Yeah. Their relationship is really yeah, nice, crazy. and she has helped him grow even as an actor. I've watched them on sets together. I've watched him follow her to sets to mm -hmm. learn from her. I love their sibling relationship. We need more of that in the industry. Yeah. Living in bondage. Mm. Um, Rams Noah won his first um, directorial debut uh, for Living in Bondage, won the award for Best Director. Um, it wasn't available, it was shooting. You know, they are doing a couple of movies now from yes, the past, yes, they are shooting yes. more. So it was on um, set shooting one of those but eight movies. awards. What, is, what are we thinking? So yeah. Because some people said there might have been foul play there. I don't know, what are you guys thinking about okay, that? Okay, so let me, let me come in there. Um, in as much as people say uh, that my foul play, you know, King of Boys should have won, um, won at least one. I totally agree. However, Living in Bondage was a really good movie. And this, this was one movie that, the reason I went to the cinema to watch it twice was because twice. people that I know, twice, the people that I know that don't actually watch Nigerian or Nollywood movies were like, I'm going to the cinema to see this film. So there's a bit of the... Nostalgic um, feel because the, the, the story... Because it, 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 it was like a continuous thing. Yeah. Like they, mm -hmm. we had so that was the Living in bondage in the, in the past. That was the cheat. So a lot of people were like, People oh, felt that way for King of Boys as well. We've never had King of we've Boys. We've never had a King of Boys. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. But Living in bondage, the reason why most people want to go and see their games is because, oh, we watched the first one, we watched the second one, ah, we have to see this one. And most of those categories were voting categories. Voting categories too, yeah. So it's another thing to feel like, oh, this person deserved to win. Mm -hmm. But then did you actually pick vote. up your phone to vote? vote? I, I could not really challenge the whole King of Boys thing because I know I did not vote. Even, even as much as I wanted, I, even, I, I felt um, like Kim Adetiba deserved at least yeah, one award. Come yeah. on. Mm -hmm. She killed it in that movie. Like, we all went to the cinema for three hours to watch one movie. Even, Which movie has done that? Even <laughs> RMD even was talking about the fact that he wished uh, Reminis won an award too. Yeah, for, for best, that best supporting best actor. actor. Best we wish actor. everybody they gave, won they someone, yeah. um, someone who was not Nigerian. And I'm like, really, guys? That's, I mean, a vote, that's a voting category. That's a problem right there. Mm, it was yeah. a Kenyan that won. That won. Okay, well, anyway, um, for, for Trailblazer, um, Swanky JK for Swanky living JK, bondage I mean, he deserved, he deserved it. it. He, he earned it. Mm. But deep down, some part of me really wanted Bimbo Ademoye to win that. Oh, I get what because you mean. Because mm. I, I don't know of any other actor that's... Well, I, I can't really speak for the other hustle, people. Let me hustle. not talk about other people's hustle. But Bimbo has hustled. And I feel like she's earned it. She's going to that place where we now can say uh, Bimbo, Ademoye is, Bimbo Ademoye is fast becoming a household yeah. name yeah. in the Nollywood yeah. industry. Yeah. And Someone, yeah. I, when I had that conversation with someone, the person was like, oh, Bimbo has passed that level of trailblazer. I'm like, no, if Bissola could win it last time, mm. I think Bimbo should have won it this year. Mm. So I completely you, understand what you're saying, and I, I completely agree with you when you say Bimbo Ademoye is a hustler. Like, she's in every, almost every single movie. Yeah, she's a fantastic actress. She's a fantastic she actress as role. well. And she puts her energy into it to, you know, bringing out the life of the character. However, for living in bondage, there was just something spectacular about, about there was something outstanding about his acting because we didn't even know him before living in bondage yeah, so for yeah. him to have had that impression sometimes it just takes one movie to even win you an oscar yeah, for some, for so that, that was just movies, his yeah. it's just like when some a, a musician a musician rather drops a hit single it was just that same kind of synergy that yeah, happened yeah i totally yeah. agree with you and you know congratulations to all the winners we're rooting <coughs> for you i'm happy for you too jko i'm happy for you <laughs> no i actually was like oh okay well deserved because i wanted him to be best actor as yeah. well so when i saw that i was like okay I'm yeah, looking forward to talking yeah. about the, the outfit. The outfit tomorrow. Please so me on. stick around for that one. <laughs> I want to talk. I have some things to say. No, don't oh, worry. Wow. Don't bother. Okay, so that's it on entertainment news. <laughs>